bronchial something that is haunting me for a while. <laughs> Alright, cool guys, thanks for having me here. I'm really excited. It's been actually like, I don't know, a year and a half probably since I've talked at this club. I used to be one of the vice presidents like back in the day with uh, another student, Chris Slinger. Some of you guys may have known him, upper server cool guy. He's like really committed to everything and anything that he does, which is really exciting to work alongside him. Uh, the group is double in size, which is really, really exciting uh, because I feel that your voice or the human voice is one of the most important tools that you can develop, not only as a chiropractor, but as a human. Over the course of our species' existence, the voice, is, in my opinion, has been one of the strongest changing molding factors in where we go and in different civilizations. And I want to, you know, I applaud you all for being here because I really feel like at some point in time, if you're given that opportunity, will you be able to step up and shape that future? So what I'm going to be talking about today is expectations, specifically managing your expectations. This can go with your life, this can be with your patients. Specifically today I'll be talking and giving examples of our patients. So the first thing that we're going to be doing today, we're going to do a little game. I need you guys to like get up. I know it's tough, there's like this row. So just kind of like huddle around here. I'm going to be on this bench. I have, I have, I have eight pen. I need three other pens. Maybe, maybe I want you guys over here. Thank you. Remember, I don't want to see all the hands, Dave, please. Yeah, thank you. Remember which one is yours. I, this one right here. So, okay, so I'm going to be sitting here kind of facing this way. So you guys want to see. Okay, cool. So, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys a number, 1 through 10. And I want you guys to tell me what that number is. You guys aren't going to be able to see anything except these numbers. But, so I encourage you to come over around here. Get on the chairs. The school needs to get some new ones anyways, so, you know. Break them. Let's break them. Just, just break this place up. All right, so, first, first number. What's the number? Quick. Four. Four. Anyone else? Three. Okay, the number's ten. All right. Whoa. Whoa, that was scary. Okay. It's ten. Okay, what's the number? Seven. Eight. Five. five. Eight. The number's five. Eight. What's the Four. number? Seven. Four. The number is seven. Okay. Some of the people are seeing it. We're going to do just a couple more, okay? Just come around. Yeah, just come around this way. It'll be easier. Okay. What's the number? One. Zero. Two. Three. The people that I thought got it aren't getting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're the only one that might zero. have it. Zero. The number is zero. Okay. So this is a perfect example of managing expectations, okay? So... Everyone is focusing here, and I want you, can you grab that pink sheet right there? I'm going to relate this to clinic. Think of this as, does everyone know what this pink sheet is? Have you guys seen this? This is like, please tell me what your complaint is. Oh, it's your shoulder, your neck. Oh, okay, what makes it better, what makes it worse? Okay, this is where people tend to focus. Okay, they're forgetting everything else, the body, the human, the person, right? This is the pink paper. This is where the numbers were. 10, 5, 7, 0. Okay? Everyone gets so focused on this area, area here that they forget about what they're actually here for. So how many people in here would like to give their patients or their practice members the most just extraordinary, that extra something? 
Yes, right? Mm -hmm. How many people would like their practice members to be the most abundant expression of themselves? Right? That's, I hope, why we're here. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to forget about this. We're going to forget about this. It's important. Don't get me wrong. Do it. Know what's going on with the person, but look at them as a whole. If we continue to only look at one area of the person, how are we ever really going to get to that end result of having, giving that extra something special, right? Okay. Uh, I, need, I need that back. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I'm going to just... <sighs> okay. That, go to that, though. You don't do that anymore. So, I'm not buying them when you're raising things. Um, okay, so can I have a volunteer? Someone who's brave? Yeah, sure. Sure, okay, excellent. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Sure. Okay, so before we sure. go any further, I want to make sure that this is, this is we're in the nest. We're going to do an <laughs> exercise. We're going to see what you, like, kind of your core value, what you want to get out of care. Okay, so please respect that. You guys, if he wants to share it with anyone outside of that, that's his deal. Okay, are you under chiropractic care? Yeah. Okay, what are you going for? Why are you under chiropractic care? Um, wellness. Wellness. Optimal performance. Okay. I'm an athlete and a cyclist, so. You're an athlete, so you like injure your knee probably, hips, I don't know, but imagine yeah. Yeah. times. Yo, okay. Yeah, I've injured everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bad, <laughs> cool, <laughs> but cool stories, maybe. Oh, yeah. got some good scars. Okay, so we're just going to pretend that that's what he's coming in for, is, okay, you have knee pain. This is an exercise that I've started doing with all of my patients after a really cool seminar. Some of you guys were there with me. Um, so if, if, through chiropractic, if we were able to heal up your knee, mm -hmm. what would that give you? If you were able to heal up my knee, that would give me... I'm not going to do any of the healing. Oh. You're, you're, the, you're, oh, the knee. you're actually kind of the doctor. Really? That's kind of the cool thing, right? All I am is the transistor. I am putting an impulse. That's all I'm doing. The body is really the one doing the healing. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we have to. We actually have to put that aside. If our ego gets in the way, none of this will work. If we're like, oh, I'm the one doing the healing. I'm the one here. I'm the doctor. I, I, well, I don't know. I don't know what we would talk about. I don't see it that way. So, anyways, what would, what would you be able? Sorry. Uh, what would you be able to get from that? Um, I would be able to enjoy being outside more, okay. running, cycling. Being able to be outside, active, right? Yeah. Okay. Active. Cool. More so, happy. if you were active, what would that give you? Happiness. Happiness. And if you were happy, what would, would that what would that allow you to be as a person? Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that. Now. So. <laughs> um, what would that as allow a being, like, like as a person, what would that allow you to be? In a single word, what would that allow you to be? A single word. Single word. Whole. Whole. That's good. I can go with that. Whole. Whole. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're working towards. With your patients, forget about, I mean, you know, treat it, see it, but go towards this. When you see this, when you see them as a whole person, and you get them working and seeing what they're working towards too, it's no longer oh, I'm just here because I need to get my knee fixed. Because when you guys are going to be working together, a knee isn't that hard to fix. It's gonna, and then what? They're going to leave and they're going to miss these steps, right? So have them focus on this and see this, and then these things just kind of happen on their own, okay? So when... <clears throat> If we're trying to be a, a different profession than medical doctors, medical doctors, in my opinion, mostly just look at the one cheek, the knee. They don't look at the whole person, okay? I don't think that we have that opportunity. You know, we can't do that. We need to be more than that. We need to be more than the knee. We need to be the whole. We don't have a choice. We need to be chiropractors, okay? So I challenge all of you guys, for those of you that are in clinic, about to be in clinic, do not forget about that. Not, for, not to forget that you're dealing with a whole person, a beautiful, 
beautifully complex person. Can you imagine trying to only just have this information here and think of it as a puzzle piece? You have a puzzle and the majority of the pieces are gone. It would be pretty hard to, to get that puzzle put together, right? And that's what that is. But once you have all the pieces, 